Hey guys, it's me Toplex here, back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review. And this is going to be very special because this is my 100 subscribers special. Now yes! It's fucking pain! I'm gonna piss so hard! I know I should have said this at the start of the video, and I probably might at the end of the video, but... <clears throat> excuse me. Um, thank you everybody so much for getting me to 100 subscribers. I'm at 102 right now, and I'm just eternally grateful for you guys supporting me in this channel and seeing me grow and watching me learn in my editing skills and telling me what to do and ask, saying what comics I should get. But seriously, thank you guys so much, each and every one of you, every 100 of you who has subscribed and supported me over the past three years. Hopefully we can reach the next goal soon and I'll explain what that goal is near the end of the video. But thank you all so much. It really means a lot. Thank you all. Well, now I know it's kind of like every other video I've done in a while. But this is very special because these are two characters who I hold dear. If you guys don't know who that is, um, they are Doctor Strange and Spider-Man. But guess about the title of this video, you, you know which Spider-Man it is. Uh, this 100 subscriber special is going to be two omnibus books for me to unbox today. And they are the Spider-Man 299 Omnibus and the Doctor Strange by Jason Aaron Omnibus, which is pretty epic if I say so myself. But I'm really excited for the Spider-Man 299 Omnibus. The and now this is the part of the video where I slowly start to lose my mind. And I can't talk, I'm so excited. I've been frantically reloading. My, my laptop is on my bed and I've just been frantically reloading the page. Because I've been excited for this book. Because this is Base Boy's Origins, and it collects the first 46 issues of his story. Which is pretty epic. Um, yeah, but I'm really excited to read these. And my new Spider-Man one is a big boy. And, ow! I'm fine. That just really hurts so bad. <laughs> now, without further ado, let's get any unboxing and review. We're gonna start off with this one, which is in the blue packaging. I I, I have no idea what this one is. I uh, they came in two separate boxes, even though I ordered them at the same time. First box. I. I'm gonna finally use super strength. I didn't really shake him much. <laughs> I see it. It's Spider Man 2099, which is pretty epic. Hang on, let me get all this out of the way. I'm surprised none of them actually blew up in my face. This is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. That is huge. It's huge! Oh god, Book, are you okay? Yeah, look at that. That is thick. This is basically the size of my JSA Omnibus books. This is huge. And I love this front cover. Just Miguel O'Hara, like, jumping right into action with his cape flying, too. That's pretty cool. Yeah, if you didn't know, he has a cape. Cool. I love this art. This is pretty epic. This was, um, Spider-Man 2099 was made in, like, 1992, wasn't it? All right, put up the first issue, uh, release right you here. You right. Okay. Oh, no, wait. I don't need to. It says, it says right here. You right. Uh, sorry, future me. Apology accepted past me. Yeah, freaking moron. Oh, it's volume one. And I think, yeah, I remember them saying like volume two of the Omnibus collection is going to come out in like October. You right. But I'm really excited to read this. Oh, this smells really good. Oh, that smells good. I wish you guys, I wish YouTube had like a smell of vision theme. Like if YouTube has smell of vision, you could just smell this right here, right now. It smells really good. Uh, let's unwrap it. I, I'm scared too because I don't want to damage it. it it's so perfect. I've been really excited for this book, if you can't tell. And I love Miguel, Miguel O'Hara and Spider-Man 2099. I mean, across the Spider-Verse. So here's the, uh, here's essentially what, how I feel about it based on a meme that someone did. This right here is my favorite thing ever in the history of forever. I think about this every day. 
I think about this all night long. I stay awake, not sleeping, because I'm thinking about this. That's pretty cool. And uh, I love how on the back you have all the issues, like all these different issues. And uh, let's see which one they are. Okay, so yeah, the first one, the first issue is the front cover one, if it will focus and not have any shine on it. And you can see, you can see the recording and the, and the reflection, but this is what it looks like uh, right here. And that's the front cover. And I love this right here where he's swinging down. Let's read the back, shall we? A whole new era calls for a very different Spider-Man. Meet Miguel O'Hara. He's got the powers, the suit, but is he ready for the responsibility of fighting for freedom in a dark corporate controlled future? The complete original saga of Spider-Man 2099 featuring the acclaimed collaboration between Peter David, Rick Leonardi is collected in a, in a volume that redefines the word. Shocking. Now, interestingly enough, um, Miguel O'Hara is a bit of an anti-hero Spider-Man. He's not like, um, other Spider-Mans where they where they're humorous. He's a bit more like Batman, very dark and brooding. That honestly sounds really cool. And I love Miguel O'Hara a lot. And I loved him in 2099. Not in 2099 and across the Spider-Verse. People may sort of like um see him as a villain, but um I see him more as an anti-hero. He tries doing the right thing and like he Batman essentially. He's the Batman of Spider-Man. Also, he's voiced by Oscar Isaac, who is Moon Knight, who's one of my favorite heroes of the MCU. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm looking at the poster that I have of Moon Knight right here. Yeah, that, there's my poster of Moon Knight. Yeah, I love that show so much. All right, so let's see what issues this collects. So, collecting Spider-Man 29 from 1992, number 1 through 46. Okay, so let's see. I, I need a pen or something to, like, write down how many issues are in here. So, Ravage Spider-Man, Ravage 2099, number 15. Uh, X-Men 2099, number 5. Doom 2099... Uh, number 14, so Punisher 2099 from 1993, number 13. Spider-Man 2099, annual number one. Spider-Man 2099 meets Spider-Man number one. Spider-Man 2099, special number one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus 46. So 46 plus seven, that is 13. Carry the one. Four plus seven is... No, I'm, I'm doing multiplication. So 13 plus... Uh, so 53 issues. There's... 53 issues. I had to do some quick math. I, I'm, I'm a math nerd. I like doing math in my head. So there are 53 issues in this, and it collects 46 of the original Miguel Hair Spider-Man series, and I think the next one collects, like, another set of issues. You right! Without yeah, further ado, let's unwrap this bad boy, shall we? So this is in really pristine condition, so very easy to get off. What? Maybe I could do, like, a Moon Knight omnibus as well. Like a Moon Knight Mark Specter omnibus because there because I could collect like the whole omnibus hardcover one that is pretty much at the Epic Collection Saga is collecting. What if in like the future the Epic Collections of Marvel end up collecting stuff that's already coming out now? What if it's like that? I really wish they'll still do like paperback books or graphic novels in the future or hardcover novels of volumes in the of comic books in the future because I, I love reading them. God, the smell is so good. You, you ever have that feeling where you get the smell of, like, paper and, and it just feels nostalgic, but also it's very nice, uh, like, going into your childhood? Let me scoot the camera back so I have enough room to put the book down. This is big. I don't think I can show this in full screen mode, but you're going to have to take my word for it. Um, here's some of the art. I, I'm going to have to find images online of some of the artwork that I'm looking at, and these are pretty cool. <laughs> to say these are beautiful kind of reminds me of the um tom mcfarlane and david michelinie uh spider-man omnibus and also um it, it very much reminds me of spider of the series spider-man unlimited even in the movie his theme sounds very similar to spider-man unlimited all right so that is uh, the Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus Volume 1. Initial review of Spider-Man 2099 Omnibus Volume 1. Shipping, 10 out of 10. It's in perfect condition. It's very beautiful. Art, 11 out of 10. It's very good. It has a very uh, Todd McFarlane Spawn style to it, and I love that. Miguel O'Hara, one of my favorite Spider-Man of all time, I have to say. Next to Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, and Tommy McGuire, and Miles Morales. Yeah, now let's go into Doctor Strange.
I wanted to do is to discuss um, stuff about my channel in the future now that I've reached 100 subscribers. So the next goal I'm going to hit is tr probably be like 150 to 200 subscribers. And and it took three years to get me to this point. And I'm so glad I built like a fan base or like I've built like a group of people who enjoy my content and enjoy me giving reviews and honest reactions about comic books. Now, let's pop this bubble wrap. Ow! I legitimately hurt my thumb doing that. I bend it way too far. Uh, now let's get into this. Oh man, that is beautiful. I mean, of course it's beautiful. It's Doctor Strange. And uh, I heard some really great things about this book. If you're wanting to collect a uh, Doctor Strange storyline, I recommend starting out with a Strange Origins book, like the paperback book that's talking about his origins. It has an issue from this series. And I love Doctor Strange because it really goes into like some of the weird stuff for or like some of the trippy stuff. Yeah, let's get into this. Um, let, let me read the back first. A magical double act. Jason Aaron and Chris Buc Buccalo work their wizardry to revitalize a Marvel icon and s and spell misery for the Marvel Universe. The relentless em empirical are coming. Every mage and mystic will feel their wrath. Every talisman and totem will be destroyed in their wake. As Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, it is Dr. Strame's uh, Dr. Strame? Strame? Dr. Strange's solemn oath to stand in their way, defeat the unthinkable. But so is the price of victory. Strange always knew magic comes at a cost. Now, with his great, with his greatest foes waiting in the wings to exploit any weakness, he's about to learn how painful it can be when the bill finally comes due. Oh my god, that is such a good riff. I, I mean, I, I think the movie took that line from this story. Um, yeah, this came out before the first Doctor Strange. Yeah, uh, I love how Mordo uses the line, like, the bill comes due always. So maybe, like, stuff that happens from that run happened in this book. I, I mean, I know it goes on, like, the origins of Doctor Strange, but uh, maybe there's stuff in this book that is used in that movie. All right, so this collects uh, Doctor Strange 2015, number one through 20, and an, an annual from 2016, number one, and Doctor Strange Last Days of Magic. How much does that run? So there's like 21 issues that it says, and then there's like another thing, Last Days of Magic. I think that's a single issue. You right. But yeah, let's get this unwrapped and take a look at it. The Sword of Destiny. I wonder if I had like a Doctor Strange thing, like the Baltian Boots of Baltor, or like the Staff of the Living Tribunal. The Sword of the Vishanti. How about that? Cause, cause Doctor Strange always swears like by the by the souls of his, of the Vishanti, I will make things right or something, or like by the power of the Vishanti, let your eternal flame be vanquished. I'm I'm just gonna label this the the sword of his the sword of his shanty even though this is the samurai power ranger sword it's the I'll, I'll label this the sword of the vishanti also can I just say oh, hold on I gotta unwrap this first to show you guys otherwise it's gonna look like a mess on camera now as I was saying can I just say how much I I, I dip on there at the end uh, my s turned into a th I don't know why this is the I I just love this cover he's hanging straight in a battle with a classic pose I know people say this looks like um. The Spider-Man pose, but it's sort of like, um, this. There we go. That's a spell, like, transfiguration or something. You right. And let's check the arm inside. Oh, wow, that's cool. I just opened up to a really great cover. Hang on. Um, this is the cover I'm talking about right here. This is a really great cover. It's sort of like a mummy. Kind of reminds me of, uh, villain strain of, like, a uh, zombie strange in Multiverse of Madness, one of my favorite movies. So the art style changes every few books or every few issues, but then it goes back to normal art styles, like it, it tries to go back to each other. This is really cool. I love how it's sort of like a painted one, and we see Doctor Strange right here. Uh, honest review, um, yeah, that that's my review of uh, Doctor, of, uh, well, not my review, my initial reaction. So um, I gotta do my initial review, 10 out of 10. Uh, art, 11 out of 10, it keeps constantly changing, but it still fits with the story. So amazing books all across the board so in total i'm gonna round each book up so spider-man 29 is this and uh dr strange omnibus is this yeah so uh thank you everybody so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed please make sure to like comment share and subscribe to get me close to 150 or 200 subscribers as my next goal well i'm gonna probably do 150 as my goal 
for uh, 150 as my goal now. Please do subscribe to my friends, Angel Dust, uh, Disarray, and Crystal Lawrence. All their channels are in the description below. Please make sure to give them some love. They make some great content. Angel Dust doesn't really make content. They just make playlists of videos that are really funny, so, but also still support her. But um, yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!